What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. I want to thank you for tuning in to my channel today. I appreciate it very much. I have got a really good video coming up for you all. Caught a ton of fish. But before we get into it, I wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. If you don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, it is a subscription-based box that you have a box full of lures delivered to your door every single day month and they have all different kinds of subscriptions they have bass they have trout panfish all different kinds and they also have different levels of subscriptions as well this is the pro bass box is the one that i get every month and it has all kinds of stuff in it as you can see not going to really go over all the baits that are in it but i mean check it out crankbaits frog got soft plastics hooks lucky craft i mean check that out all kinds of good stuff swim jig so if you're interested in a mystery tackle box and getting this awesome box of baits every single month click on the link in the description down below and use my promo code gunfish tv and you can get your first box for as little as ten dollars so click that link check them out we're gonna go ahead and get into the video i catch a bunch of fish and i catch some good ones on top water it was a really really fun day so let's go ahead and get out there So let's see, what are we going to start with? Tell you what, I'm actually going to start, hmm, with, we'll throw the buzz bait to start off with. I don't know how long we're gonna throw this though. We're kind of gonna see, see what we got going on and kind of go from there. I don't know if this is what I really wanna, go with 100% but if we can get a bite kind of quick then we might stick with it but hopefully we catch a darn big one that'd be pretty nice definitely gonna throw the frog y'all know that we are gonna throw the frog and something else too it's actually a lot more people out here on the lake than I would expect for it to be on a Wednesday it is a Wednesday and it's actually right many people here I'm not seeing a bunch of people but up there at the ramp it's right many people up there at the ramp so with it being overcast like it is I would kind of expect for the top water bike to definitely be on So what we need is our first bite. So we need that first bite to kind of give us a clue and tell us something. And then we can kind of go from there. So hopefully we get one kind of quick, something to come up and commit. Then we can kind of build on that. Wanted to start on this grass kind of along the shoreline first. There's one. Got that one. There's one on that dock. So that's the second bite I got on that dock. That's a little one though. But he was up there on that darn dock. All right. Come here. Chill out. Got him. Pretty fish. Nothing big. I'll take him. Hopefully he's the smallest of the day. And not the only one of the day. But... Thanks for biting, bud. Got him on that speed crawl. Paired up with a 3 8 ounce tungsten. Right there. Pretty little fish. Get back in there. Right there off that back dock post. And that's the second bite that I've gotten off that dock. I missed that first fish. I don't really know why in the world I missed him because he was swimming out with it. Kind of the same way as that fish right there was. 
but we're going to get another speed crawl. We're going to leave these out for the time being since we are getting bit on them. And I'm flipping this on a 3 alt Guggen Squad hammer hook. Pairs up real nice with that speed crawl. Got a bobber stopper on there. We're going to pitch another one under there and see if we can get bit again. Hopefully, this time it's a little bit bigger one. If we get bit under there again. All right, we're going to pick the buzz bait up and throw it up until we get to this next dock. Oh, my. Whew. Rod like to went clean up my hand. Not a bad one. Come here. All right. Here we go. On the old buzzing toad, come up and slurped it. Nice fish. Had just picked that thing up. Good deal. I made to replace my frog on that one. He destroyed it, but that's all right. That's a good fish. Let's put this uh, talon down so we don't go all over the fish. But thanks for biting, bud. All right, so I just picked that up. That was my second cast with it. And he just come up and slurped it, so we might uh might throw this a little bit more. That grass where I first started was just too thick. It was right up under the water and I couldn't uh couldn't fish it effectively. So let's get another white toad out, put that on, and maybe that is the deal. gonna go ahead and run up the lake a little ways not real far but a little ways all right didn't strap anything down so I had my rods flying out the boat. But let's uh let's see if we can catch a fish in here. So I moved up the lake up into a pocket. And we're gonna throw this this buzz bait up here and see if we can get bit. It's kind of like a shallow flat pocket. Got this shoreline grass up here. Water's got a little bit more color to it up here as well. So maybe we can get one to come up. Maybe it'll be a big one. There he is. I think that's a big pike. I'm not sure. Yeah, great big freaking pike chain pickerel. He is a darn big and big slimy sucker. Swing him in here. He is going to get my carpet all slimy. Uh, grab hold of that sucker. Ooh. He come off that treetop just as darn pretty. Got him. Got him right in the tip of the nose. Great big sucker. Look at that dude. That's not what we're after, but it was a good bite. Come up behind that thing and chomped it. Now I need a bass that long. Big old monster. Hey, he was fun to catch, but 
We're looking for that big mouth kind. There's a bass. Saw him come up and grab it. I don't know how good he's got it though, because he come up from behind it. Yep, that was a decent little fish. Not a big one, but hey, we will take him. Little guy on the old buzz bait. There's another one. I mean, we're not catching any big ones right now, but we are catching some fish. Thank you, bud. Saw him just come right up behind it and grab it. Stump right there. Okay. That's a decent one. That's a decent fish. Thank you. Get in here. Still not a not a big big one like we're looking for but he is a fish and he smoked it too nice little fish right there good little you can see where he's kind of been bitten or something right there on his tail thank you got him on that old buzz bait see you later bud that fish came up and smacked it pretty good Yep, he come up and stroked it. Thought he was a little bit bigger at first when he first bit it, but that's all right. I'll take it. Hey, I mean, the buzz bait is pulling some bites. So we will take that. There's big fish in this pocket, so hopefully we get a crack at one. He was kind of right off the front of this shoreline grass right here. Decent little fish. I know y'all are probably glad to see me throw something other than the frog. <laughs> Which the crazy thing is, I mean, all, in all my previous videos, I know I've been catching the fish on the frog, but I've thrown a lot of other stuff as well. I've thrown the buzz bait. I've thrown the spinner bait. I have flipped. I can't show y'all everything. You know, put get it all in a video. I can't, I can't do it, but... I'm not just throwing the frog. It's just that the frog has been the producer for me. And if something's producing and that's what I'm catching them on, I mean, that's what I'm going to throw. So, and not to mention this, one of my favorite things in the world to catch them on right now with this little bit of chop like it is, I just feel like the buzz bait might have a little bit better chance of pulling the fish up. I do not like throwing a frog in any type of chop unless it's just very, very light, light chop, little ripple on the water. Nice one right there. Come up on that old buzz bait and ate it. Thank you, buddy. Let's get you in here. Solid one. That old buzzing toad. Come here. Gotcha. Now look at that. Y'all check that out. This fish has a hook in his throat. Now I'm not gonna mess with that at all because that's looking okay it's not looking bad at all but that's a chunky fish that fish is close to three pounds for sure and that's a darn nice one come up on that buzz bait right out here awesome thank you all right good fish thank you like i said i mean you can see somebody either broke that fish off or they cut the line so we're gonna let him go we're not gonna mess with it he's obviously doing just fine thank you bud good deal on that buzz bait 
solid. Come up and just slurp it. That's a pretty nice one. Yep, there we go. I mean, they are choking it when they're eating it too. Nice. Get in here. I mean, are you done? <laughs> I was curious to say, dude, are you done? He absolutely choked it. I mean, gone. Nice. He was not coming off. I think I had him in his jaw kind of weird. He didn't know what to do. That's another solid one. Pretty one right there. Nice fish. Good deal. Healthy. Buzzbait is getting it done. Thank you, bud. All right. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna go over here, kind of to this mouth for this little cut right here. We might fish some of this stuff right here. I'm gonna idle over to that, but then we're gonna jump over to that side and fish down back towards the main lake out of this pocket. So that is the plan. Hopefully we can get into a big one over there. I mean, we're doing okay right now. We're not, we're not doing bad at all. Just gonna idle across here. It's a lot of stumps and stuff all out here in the middle. So I'm just gonna idle across. Right, so just idled over here to this old bridge this is an old bridge that come across right here and we're going to throw the buzz bait up there kind of over top of where it is and we're going to backlash on the first cast as that thing caught the wind but we're going to fish it and uh see if we maybe pull a big fish up off of it There we go. That's a nice one. Up here, right up here on this bridge. That's what I was thinking. And boy, be one out here. And it was. Nice one too. Good deal. That's old humpback. Come here. Chill out. Nice. There we go. He was right off the front of that little bridge piling right there. Another one. Another good one. Right there, chunk, two, two something for sure, two and a half probably. Nice one, right on this pile and we're gonna let him go and get as we can throw back up here. It's fish all out here everywhere. Thank you, bud. Nice. Just waiting to catch that dog going. Great big. God, there was another one. That was a big one. This thing ain't running right. That was a big one. Yep, yeah, that was a big one. All right, last cast. Come on up and eat it. I don't think he is. All right, that's it. Turned out to be a good day. Didn't even fish all that long and had a good time. Catch him on that old buzzing toad. Like I said, I switched over from that white to black right here till, towards the end. I didn't fish the black about 15 minutes. I just wanted to try it and see, you know, if that bite was on because the white kind of faded a little bit. So didn't catch one on it, but that is okay. Caught some nice fish today. Take this thing on to the house.
All right, well, as y'all could see, I had a really good day. Took off work to go out there and hit it. The lake was down pretty low, which made that grass right, you know, it was right up underneath the surface. That's when I really like it, when the lake is about at that level. And that lake does fluctuate a lot, but they were on that buzzbait bite, that horny toad buzzbait that I love to throw. It hadn't really came into play this year a lot, but I was finally able to catch them on it and caught some pretty doggone good ones too. You know, that wind was blowing, which was probably helping that bite right much, but it was a really, really fun day. And anytime I can catch them on top water, I'm a pretty happy guy. So hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of the old lake, the Ronald Rapids Lake, let me know. I fish all over the place, but I haven't fished there that much this year. But just let me know where you want to see me fish next. You know, or that's kind of around me. I'm, I, I can't travel to Florida, obviously. But, uh, you know, if anywhere local to me, local in Virginia, let me know. I enjoy fishing new places. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you next time on Gunfish TV.